97 consecutive wins against unranked opponents for the Crimson Tide. And that is already an all-time college football record. The previous record was 72 from Miami back from 1984 through 2000. So Arkansas won the toss. They have elected to receive. And they're going to try and play with some tempo as best they can as they'll start at the 25-yard line off of a fair catch. He's their unquestioned leader offensively. And he will start with a slant. And he will start with a completion as Mike Woods has a first down. Felipe Franks will go down. The pocket collapses. And he ends up underneath Christian Barmore. Really good job at a defensive front. Second down, you set the edge against the run. Third down, you earn your right to rush the quarterback, get off the field. Here's Devontae Smith on the return. Breaking tackles. Devontae Smith to the top of your screen. Mac Jones looking that direction instead. It's underneath right at the first down line to gain to Slade Bolden. And that's good for 10. I think the, the, the thing that has stood out is his patience and his vision this year as a runner. That time he's met. And Nick Saban will have a fourth down decision to make. It'll be fourth down and two. Forty-six. Perfect. Arkansas gets a stop. Alabama settles for three. Delayed handoff to Traylon Smith. He's got an alley. And he's got a first down and more. About 15 yards for Smith. And that's safety that learned the entire defense for Alabama on Zoom. And then, according to Nick Saban, came in and knew how to make the checks. Franks extending the play again. And he's able to flip one to Smith. All the way down to the 20-yard line. The ball pops out, but I think they will rule him down at the 20-yard line. Evans in motion. Play action. Felipe Franks looking back, and Traylon Burks got tripped up. A flag down on the play. Franks directing traffic, tried to squeeze one into a tight window to Trey Knox. Holding against an eligible receiver, number 31 of the defense. Burks at the slot left. Franks looking that way. Instead, it's a check down underneath. No chance to get anywhere near the end zone, even if Trey Knox had come up with that reception. Daniel right there in coverage. As well as their defense did forcing that three, you're not going to knock off Alabama kicking threes, right? At the end of the day, when they play coverage, the, you also don't want to be careless with the football and reckless with it. So that's the right decision, and now they got the chance to even the game. That's Matthew Phillips. His first attempt of the season goes through in place of A.J. Reed. Here comes a five-man rush. The blitz is picked up. That turns into an easy first down pitch and catch for Devontae Smith. They've got third down and three here. He could bring his tight end in. There was a corner out there. He knows it's zone coverage. A slip and a fall again. Having a tough time with the turf. As once again, Harris loses his footing. He's really trying to find space. you got space at the bottom of the screen in the slot and then space at the top with your tight end. Trying to figure out where that space is to attack it. Only a three-man rush. Long looping throw to the sideline, up over the head of Brian Robinson, and it's a turnover on downs. Third down and 11, KJ Jefferson trying to get Arkansas set. Four man rush, and that's incomplete on the slant. Looked like it was intended for Trey Knox. Hand signaling, non verbal communication, making sure everybody's on the same page. What's the call? What's the adjustment? Their communication is next level as a defense. Devontae Smith with a cutback. Finds an alley right up the center of the kick coverage group for the Razorbacks, and he will not be touched. An Alabama touchdown. 
Sam Pittman was the one that said he would give it to Alabama's offensive line. Like one trophy, chop they it got up a lot five of ways options. and give it to those five guys. Felipe Franks back in at quarterback, second down and eight. And the pocket collapses, and down he goes. But third and seven is a lot easier than third and 12. Here comes a blitz on third and 12, and it'll be another sack. Will Anderson, the blitzing linebacker, buries Felipe Franks. We asked him, what is on the front of your lock screen on your phone? It's a picture of Conor McGregor holding up two belts. He said, I love his confidence and his cockiness. And his teammates say he's a little of the same. He's one of the biggest trash talkers on the team. Well, it helps when you can toss it to Najee Harris with the stiff arm. Najee Harris with a first down. Harris looking for a cutback lane, and he lowers his shoulders and gets the first down. Another check in with Matt. They obviously, an enormous game for Ohio State in the college football playoff situation. Mac Jones on play action. Over the middle, wide open for a Down inside the six, close to the five yard line. Now they load up with the extra tight ends. And the handoff to Harris. Easily done. His 21st rushing touchdown of the season. And that's without Christian Harris, who was lost to a shoulder injury on the opening play of the game. Play action for Franks under pressure. The ball knocked out of his hands. It's loose. And it is scooped up by the Crimson Tide. Chris Allen gets the strip sack of Felipe Franks. And DJ Dale has the fumble recovery. Looks like Darian Dalcor takes over at center for Alabama. Landon Dickerson getting his wrist wrapped on the sideline. First and goal at the five. Here's Harris. Blasts up the middle at the goal line. Is he in? Yes. That is an Alabama touchdown. KJ Jefferson gets another opportunity here for the Hawks. Zone read trying to turn the corners. TJ Hammonds, he's got nowhere to go. Lost at least three yards. Hall of Fame guard retired, that hurt them, and then they went from a three tight end package to a two tight end package, and it just took some of their diversity away. Mac Jones, right up the seam. Squeezes one into John Mechie. Right to midfield. And can we handle the physicality of their offensive line? And, and I don't know if they can answer that as a yes. One handed catch for a first down by Brian Robinson. They want the offense. He's not allowed to clap and flash in that intent manner. Quick handoff to Brian Robinson. And let's bring in Matt Austin. Matt, where is that gray area? But to have the discipline to not make the throw and to take that check down is good. Now he's got a shot down for the front pylon. This is a catch made by Mechie, and they will say it is a completion. And off to Robinson. He's got a rushing touchdown. So two for Najee Harris, one for Brian Robinson. And Alabama has opened up. Extra point pending a 30-3 lead. And just go to the football and trust their instincts. That's when they're at their absolute best. And I think that's what they've done differently over the last six weeks. There's a stop right at the line of scrimmage. On Traylon Smith. Third down and two. Harris patiently allows the blocking to form up on third and short and finds a cutback lane. Robinson straight ahead run easily picks up the first down. Down to the 42 yard line. You know, I, I just, I'm an honest person when it comes to Matt Barry and our friendship. Matt Barry seems very dependable to me. And what is also very dependable, the decision making of Mac Jones. Checks one down to Forrestal. Find four Forrestal right in that soft spot and turn him inside on that throw. Jones, for a moment, lost his footing. Finds Forrestal after he resets his feet. Play action. Jones has all day. Wide open. Down inside the five-yard line is Slade Bolden. Mackett has that in his game. A handoff to Robinson. Reaching for the goal line. And it looks like he's in his second rushing touchdown. And they will let KJ Jefferson give it to Smith one more time. They'll go over the top of the pile, and that should take us to halftime. A dominant performance by Nick Saban's number one ranked Alabama Crimson Tide will send you to the studio. Matt Barry, Jesse Palmer, and Joey Galloway will be standing by.
the Halftime Report. You know, they know who they are. They know that they can be a pounded football team that can use that play-action pass. Mac Jones, he has looked for Miller Forrestal a bunch. You talk about Saban, the way he finds ways to motivate his guys in kind of cold early games like this. He told me, one, our goal is to go win 10 games in the SEC. That's never been done. But I also thought it was interesting what he told us yesterday about when he was with the Dolphins and he would get video of guys. And he's like, I never knew what their opponents were. So go play. That's a great point. 13-7 with five minutes to go in the game or 60 to nothing at halftime. I'm just looking at your effort and that's how I'm making a decision about you as a player. On uh, the check down to Slade Bolden. And there are a lot of guys, obviously, every year on Alabama's roster that are thinking their cut-up is going to put them in the National Football League. And that is how in charge of our secondary he was. And there he is lurking and coming on the blitz. They throw right behind the blitz. And with a crease, it's Metching. Down inside the 30-yard line to the Arkansas 29. You're stepping up towards that run, and then there's just these creases in your defense. Robinson finds another crease into the red zone with a first down to the 15-yard line. This is what the defense is allowing you to do, and do that with the ball. Jones out of the pocket, stays behind the line of scrimmage, dodges a sack, sidearms one towards the goal line, and Cadillac picks it off. Gets all the way out to the 42-yard line before he's caught from behind by the freshman Chase McClellan. Matt Jones intercepted by Jalen Catalan, but as our friendly Corso would say, not so fast, my friend, because the replay booth has initiated a possible targeting right there on Hayden Henry. After further review, number 27 of the defense made contact with a defenseless player in the head or neck area. By definition, that's a targeting foul. Therefore, number 27 is disqualified for the remainder of the contest. That will also result in a penalty for the previous spot. Will be first and ten at the four and a half yard line. Brian Robinson at the goal line, and for the third time in the game, he is in for a rushing touchdown for Alabama, and they extend their lead. I, I think that Jefferson. He'll be sacked again by Barmore. I mean, after today, I might give it to Barmore. Yeah, he has been unblockable. And Arkansas is going to test him, try to heat him up, but the pass protection is perfect. It is an incompletion, though, on third down and six. Tried to find Xavier Williams. That's where I think it would become very interesting for, for Texas A&M fans. A yard on the dive for Traylon Smith is good for a first down. I guess the question I would have, Big Ten championship game with Ohio State only playing their sixth game of the season. Right. Low snap, Jefferson scoops it up. And his composure and eyes downfield creates a hookup with Mike Woods. A really, really good play by the redshirt freshman. They'll run a little option here, fake the pitch and get pounded and lose the football. And it looks like Alabama's got it on a takeaway. And K.J. Jefferson's holding his left knee. Back to the offense, the true freshman Bryce Young swings one out wide to another true freshman. And Javon Baker gets to the sideline and has a first down. I think that Mac Jones has had this meteoric rise in many ways ever since he took over for Tua last year. And his play has been so enticing. There's a lot of strengths to this game. I think there will be some parts of his game, weakness-wise or flaw-wise, that the NFL will look very specifically to. You know, if you look at him as a player. That's tough to see as K.J. Jefferson nursing that left knee injury is walking back to the locker room. So it is freshman to freshman again here. Is Bryce Young getting an opportunity to run the team at quarterback off to Roy Dell Williams. Lead the two number one threats to go to the Super Bowl in their respective conferences. I, I just think there's room as this ball is fumbled and it looks like it's going to end up with Joe Boucher of Arkansas. I think there's room for you to play unlike Patrick Mahomes. Jonathan Hampton, head coach of the Fort Worth Outlaws. Matt Jones, thank you for all your support. Matt Jones, bring the national championship back home. Oh, whoa, whoa, Tom. 
do I think you can win games in the NFL and play really good football from your traditional pocket passing mindset? Yes, it okay. stresses a little bit more of your coaching and your scheme, it, it minimizes what you can do. So after the timeout, Felipe Franks sends Mike Woods in motion and rolls in that direction on third down. Under pressure and down he goes again. Shane Lee gets the sack and let's check in with Matt. Again, <laughs> you can win the Super Bowl still playing that position. To be a first round pick, that's the conversation. Fair catch is made by Bolden, but there's a flag down as it looks like Alabama may have bumped Personal into foul. rebound. Personal the kicker, defense number 10. Their arm strength, their ability to throw with windows. Smith loses the football. It's another takeaway for the Alabama defense. But very good speed and awesome vision. Swing pass is broken up quickly. Ayu Jones Bell and the ESPN app. So with five and a half minutes to go, maybe one more chance for Arkansas to find the end zone before today is up. As Traylon Smith, oh, check that Franks on a keeper. Fooled me, and he picks up about 11 yards. And by the way, we want to send our best get well wishes as soon as possible to Eli Gold. That'll be an awesome battle to watch is this Alabama defensive line going against them. And then, you know, the secondary players for Florida's offense, like Kadarius Tony. Yeah, like, how does Alabama want to handle him? Can Florida defensively, physically match up with Alabama? That's, That's the question. A backwards pass to Burks. It's a trick play looking for a touchdown. Burks with a jump ball to the goal line. Brian Branch is there for the interception and the touchback. Boy, that's a true freshman. His discipline pays off. A lane into the open field. McClellan looking for the goal line. Touchdown. You are going in. You are the Yankees. You are the Patriots. You are everybody's best shot is coming because you're Alabama and you're number one and how they very rarely ever get affected yeah. by that pressure. And I think that Nick Saban and this program are obsessed with the routine. I think two things, when you have the great routine that they do. And another sack. When you As have this one belongs to Tim Smith. Now he may not be happy with this run by T.J. Hammonds. But it should be the final play of the game as Brian Branch who got that picked out at the goal line comes up and makes the tackle The fifth undefeated regular season since 2008 under Nick Saban that is number one in college football during that span and he will take an undefeated Alabama team into the SEC championship game against Florida next week and that is all right now that is in between Alabama and a trip to the top spot of the college football playoff.